Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the shed. It's Lonnie and this video is going to be a little different from the normal videos you see on this channel. Uh, I actually had the opportunity to go to a private pick today. I was the first one there, <laughs> uh, like Matt says on part-time pickers. And um, I, got the, I got the pick of the place and got some pretty cool stuff. And I'm going to share it with you. I don't normally do haul videos, but I didn't shoot video while I was picking. Just wasn't it wasn't a good time for me to shoot video uh, so I'm gonna share it with y'all now and that's what this video is gonna be so hope y'all enjoy uh, I paid I'll tell you how much I paid right up front I paid fourteen hundred dollars for everything you're gonna see in this video so you know it's got to be pretty decent money if I paid that much uh, the best stuff I'm gonna put at the end of the video because that's how you're supposed to do this right uh, but yeah it's all this stuff here stuff in these boxes down here i've got ben there a bin there and then all that stuff there and uh yeah let's get into this stuff all right uh i love selling models this model is new sealed you're gonna see a lot of fire stuff in this in this hall here uh this is a ladder chief fire truck american la france i have something else that's american la france coming up later uh some of this stuff was priced for sale. This is not what I paid. I paid like a bundle price. This is a Fire Dome Firefighter Helmet. And it is new in the box. Right here. Definitely has never been worn. It's got the paperwork and everything. I'm not exactly sure what that is worth yet. Uh, definitely in excess of a hundred dollars though for that i don't even i don't know what any of this stuff is worth i didn't look any of it up uh this is new old stock uh shepler's by stetson this hat is new and yeah look it's got the feather and everything it's got a few little defect looking places on it though but yeah should still be good shepler's 5x stetson so hopefully that'll do well. I don't know when this is from. Probably probably from the 70s or so, I would imagine. And look, this is handy. This is a... Uh, I'm going to have to hang on to this. This is a little hat sizing guide. Because I know I've had some hats in the past where I didn't know how big the hats were. Look, this will size a hat for you. That's pretty slick. I'm going to hang on to that. Anyway, let me clear this stuff off. All right, this is an interesting box. I always like selling Wizard of Oz stuff. Usually seems to sell pretty well for me. This is um, original Mego figs from 1974 in the box, and I think I think this is all the major ones, right? These are all. This is all of them. There's even Toto in there. Um, so yeah, I've got the. I think that's the set. Um, I think that and I think they go for about hundred and twenty dollars for the set um, I didn't I did look at a few comps on that. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention Just trying to get a rough idea of value. Uh, this is a weird camera in here Let me open it up This is an Olympus ED 35 to 180 lens IS-3 DLX very very odd shape to this camera <laughs> it is a uh, it's a film camera obviously I'm sure it's some kind of 35 millimeter I'd never seen one before so I threw it in the box it's part of the bundle I basically made made like a couple of big piles um, I've got three speaking whatever speaking spell they're all in good condition too speaking math and then i think the yellow one is a speak and read yeah speak and read pick those up um this radio was pretty neat i like the color pennies transistor radio i bought it strictly based on the color i hope it works that cut that kind of color is pretty popular though uh it's a pocket Simon. I don't. This says 1980 on it. Let's see what kind of condition this toy is in. 
yeah it's a good condition then these are some cool radios here i guess these are these are midland i guess these are walkie talkies i've got one two two of those no i have three of those here and then this was really cool i like this i like this kind of stuff this is a toshiba calculator and look at this look at the design of it look at that screen i am really hoping this thing works because i could tell it's going to have those bright leds on it let me see what kind of batteries it takes hopefully the battery compartment's clean please be clean and it's got a little corrosion on it right there i might have to clean up it's definitely had corrosion hopefully it hadn't been too bad it doesn't look horrible but yeah this calculator it, and i'll look the calculator up it's you know it's maybe 25 dollars calculator or so but i just love that screen on there it looks like a radar scope or something uh what else oh this is a little uh ti 1001 pocket portable calculator and this is definitely vintage this says 1980 on it on the back so i like picking up calculators they don't always sell for a bunch of money though and now this i believe this is a peanuts cookie jar no allowance for breakage hmm i believe this is a peanuts cookie jar that's what i was told it's from 1973. It's supposedly Snoopy on top of his doghouse. And here's the thing. It's like factory stapled or whatever, factory sealed. Um, I, like to sell, I don't like to open stuff that's factory sealed, especially since it was sealed. How long is that? 47 years ago? But, uh, I mean, I can't sell it like this. I'm going to have to show people what's inside, so I'll have to open it up. Hmm. What would y'all do with that? I have to open that up, right? I'm not going to open it up until I upload this video. But yeah, that's the, that's the first box we're looking at. Let me pack this stuff back up. Okay, this is another new inbox thing here. Uh, this is a lamp and shade with nightlight. And it's, you see, it's factory sealed with this paper tape from the factory. Never been opened. And it's from 1977. And uh, I could tell which one it is because they're labeled like Bugs Bunny. It's got Roadrunner, Mickey Mouse, and Donald Duck lamps. But I have number 562 right here. So I know that I have the Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner lamp. So again, this is like, what, 43 years old, new old stock, factory sealed. That's pretty amazing, right? I have no idea what that's worth though got to be pretty good right and let's see is this sealed too yeah this is this is factory sealed also <laughs> yep factory sealed with paper, paper tape and i forgot what it was i mean i'm gonna have to open this stuff to sell it there's no way that uh there's no way that it, i can't i'm trying to remember what it was i was told what it was and i forgot already I think it's another lamp or something something cool we'll put it that way uh, oh I got this uh, this is sealed in plastic Strong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible the old-time gospel hour edition it's in the brand new sealed in the plastic this is this is similar to that and okay yeah this is a um, swimming sculpture for olympic commemorative telephone i'll go ahead and pull it out y'all can see it okay here it is unpacked it's still in plastic though uh, and it's like a i guess a pewter figure of somebody about to dive in the water for a swimming competition it's supposed to be mounted to a telephone somehow uh official telephone of the 23rd olympiad los angeles 1984 and there's a price sheet in here for the different sculptures the swimmer sold for 99.95 in 1984 it sold for that that's that was a bunch of money in 1984 
So I have this one. This is also one of those. And I don't I don't know which one it is. There might be some numbers on it or something where I could tell. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and open it up though. Cause I mean, I, I do need to photograph it and stuff. So let me clear this off. Okay, let's see what's in this bin. Uh, this is a bag of, this is a big bag of patches. And I enjoy selling stuff like this. Um, I'm gonna, I am gonna look some of them up and make sure there's not like a lot of value for them like individually but look it's all um all different firefighter patches and stuff from all over the country chicago clay township wherever that is los angeles ville platte that's in louisiana firefighter vermont state and there's more in here a lot more in there so yeah bag of patches uh this is kind of cool this is a vintage coca-cola shirt from i don't know i'm guessing the 80s looks like it's never been out of this packaging i think it has i don't think well let's see is it taped anywhere no this this packaging it's in has coca-cola on the front as you can see and it's sealed so it's never been opened uh, this is kind of cool i like this piece here this is a snoopy alarm clock and it last date says 1970 i don't know if that's when it's from i would guess it's pretty close though because uh it is made in west germany so it's a pretty cool little piece i don't think it's worth a ton you know, the date on the back says 70 also that's a cool clock though that one caught my eye this is cool toys for america <laughs> it says on one side the other side galaxy gun 12 and it's got a little chip there on the front i wonder how old this is it lights up when you shoot it and then you can change the sound it makes with this control here. It makes a different sound. Let me do a couple more. I don't think I landed on one. Does it get, does it get any more sci-fi than that? <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Um, let's see, what is this? Oh, these are brass fire hose nozzles i have three of those and i have some other fire hose type stuff too uh, this is a mr potato head fire chief accessory pack uh, this looked like it was complete to me didn't look like it had been used either and i have three new furbies this guy and then this guy and this guy and these are originally bought at albertson's for 35 dollars a piece it looks like oh and here's a few more brass pieces some kind of coupling of some sort for fire hose stuff and i have another brass piece somewhere around here uh, this is actually a kindle fire 16 gigabytes black a most sensible tablet i don't know how old this is looks like it's brand new though looking for a date this is 2016 might not be much value here it is brand new though so i'm sure i can sell it for some amount let me clear this stuff out okay as i'm putting this back this gun this stuff back up i looked this gun up real quick on ebay and on worth point i couldn't have, couldn't find it anywhere can y'all find this a galaxy gun 12 it says toys for america on the other side and that is all i know doesn't say made in anywhere unless it's in the battery compartment there's a nine volt battery in there and l listen to this sound effect i like this one that's cool this thing is really cool the laser control that's fun 
I would think that would have a little bit of value. I, if I had to guess, I would say 70s, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. This stuff, this stuff is a lot. This is a lot of fun stuff. A lot of fun vintage stuff in here. Let's look at, let's look in this bin. This is a pretty big one here. Oh, it's kind of heavy. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, uh, backgammon set. Looks like it's complete. This is your basic 70s Naga Hide backgammon set. Nice condition. I've sold quite a few of these in the past. And uh, yeah, I've always done, you know, I mean, you're not gonna make a, you're not gonna get rich selling these backgammon sets, but they're they're solid. Solid bread and butter, bread and butter items though, for sure. Sold a bunch of those in the past. They usually sell pretty quick too. Uh, this is Smokey the Bear. Um, still on the lookout for his hat. We don't have the hat, but we do have the bear. Feels kind of old. The official Smokey Bear. Surface washable. Some says something about forest fires on the tag. Uh, what else does it say? Who made it? Knickerbocker, sewn in Haiti. Okay. So I don't know if that's worth much or not. He does stand up by himself too. What else have we got in here? Oh, I got some uh, some cool roller derby roller skates. I had to pick these up. They look like they had been like maybe not used. I mean, look at the wheels. And look at that. Maybe maybe once. Look at the brake. They really look like if you just kind of clean them off with a damp cloth, they would look brand new almost. So, pick those up. Oh, here's another coupling or fitting or something like that. 250 Powhatan U. That looks expensive. Solid brass. It's heavy. Got this Life Tone HL bedside fire alarm and clock. And then I have two of these Garfield telephones. Uh, this one is used in the box. This one is new in the box, never used. And both boxes are in pretty good shape. This one has a little tear on the back. This box, this box looks really nice. So that's that. That's that crate or bin. A really fun one here. This is the kind of stuff I'm always picking up at estate sales. Uh, just knick-knack kind of stuff. Like these are pens. They're better pens in this Ziploc though. Let me open this up. These are really nice. Uh, here's one made by Quill, which I think is a pretty good brand. Looks like it's probably like gold plated or something. I looked up quill pens and it looked like they're pretty good. Pretty good sellers. Uh, some paper mate. These are pretty nice looking. There's a, a cross pen and pencil set in here. Looks either new or almost new. They're definitely not gold plated though. Yeah, this this is really nice. The box is in great condition for this. I've done pretty well with cross pens in the past. And then this is Parker pens. Which I know Parker makes the space pens. Parker Jotter Ball pen and pencil set. And then here's some other like LCD time pen. I don't know if that has any value or not. But I love picking up little knickknack stuff like this like from the office room of an estate sale. Uh, that kind of stuff is pretty fun. Pretty fun to deal with. So yeah, got some pens. Uh, oh, got a General Electric Micro 2 cassette. If I had to guess, it probably doesn't work, but I'm gonna try it out. It has a cool design to it. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. I'm a sucker for the design. Got a little professor, little math quiz thing. Uh, here's a couple of Looney Tunes watches by Armatron. That's a Marvin the Martian right there. And this is a Sylvester. Sylvester the Cat. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say these are... Well, I don't have to guess because it says it on the lid. 
1994. So do these have value? I don't know, but they do have a lifetime limited warranty and they're definitely brand new. Like some, if somebody wore that, they would peel that off of there. So figured those were worth picking up. Mickey Mouse school. This is supposed to have a Mickey Mouse sitting right here. It's not worth a bunch of money anyways. Uh, some pens, like stick pen type things. Now this says Hewer on it. And it's a Tag Hewer, like digital stopwatch thing. But if you look at that screen right there, it looks like that LCD screen might be jacked up. There's a battery that goes on the back. So I'll try and mess with it a little bit. 320 micro split. I don't know. But it, it doesn't have the tag part on the hewer. It's just hewer by itself. Uh, let's see. Oh, some more watches. These are new in plastic. 35 years. Disneyland. So and it's made in Japan. It's a it looks like a cheap watch. Loris watches. Uh, these are... I have no idea. I didn't look them up, so I'm not going to guess. This American La France, I guess that's an ashtray. It is heavy. It's like solid brass, machined. It's cool. Somebody's going to want that thing. It's really nice. Um, picked up this calculator watch. Hopefully it works. Delphi or Delphi. There's a scratch right across the display there wonder what that's worth i have no idea i threw it in the box i made i was making my piles anything looks slightly cool i just threw it in this is a holly hobby watch it's time to be happy this looks new new pretty old stock this does say swiss made and it is 1972 it says and this paperwork right here goes with that watch. And then I bought a bunch of belt buckles. I threw a bunch of belt buckles in there. The American Firefighter. There's a lot of firefighter themed. There's an LSU buckle. American Godiva. Is that from the chocolate? More firefighter stuff. International Fire Chiefs. A couple of Smokey the Bear buckles. Three of them. Nebraska, USA, 1980. That's an Olympic belt buckle there. Olympic Committee, United States Olympic Committee. Uh, Pacific Division. Some kind of light or something. I don't know what that is. Pacer, and it's got a fire hydrant there. Smeal, that must be some kind of company. This is the, one of the cooler looking ones here. San Francisco Fire Brigade. I thought that one was really awesome. San Francisco Fire Brigade, California. Just, it looks old, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to say because you can make stuff like that look old pretty easy. MCI, long distance company. Micro Blaze Out. Well, I don't think that one's going to be worth much. Hydro Blasters. Waterus. Volunteer Firemen, Anacortes Brassworks Foundry, DuPont, Tampa Electric Safety Achievement. And then there's some in these cardboard things. I don't know what they are. I'll open this later. Then I have a White Diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor, uh, Eau de Toilette Spray. It's sealed. And yeah, that's everything in that box. I, I love selling little knickknacks like this. This was cool. All right, Candace is home from work. Hey, Candace. Hi. She hadn't been in a video lately. She also didn't get to go to Tennessee with me, unfortunately. I know, I've been missing out on all the fun. Tennessee and now today, this awesome day. Yeah, I wish she could have gone with me, but yeah. again, she was at work. You quit your quit your job. Somebody's gotta support you. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's probably what y'all think too. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could not be further from the truth i promise you oh <laughs> uh, i'm gonna like i'm gonna I bring home the bacon and i fry it up in the pan okay yeah not tonight tonight we're having chicken oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, i bring home plenty of bacon i promise y'all um anyways 
Well, you look very nice today, by the way. Thank you. Nice, nice new short haircut and everything. Yeah, I got my haircut. You, uh, I've already gone. I'm going to have to show Candace all this stuff. What'd sure. you buy me? I don't like Furbies. They creep me out. <laughs> What'd you get me? Uh, I got you a Bible. Strong exhaustive. Yes. I don't know what that means. Okay. I got you. Some, I got you everything in this box. This is the best stuff. I'm gonna let Candace go through it. I had this one when I was little. Really? Yes. That. The, could, these prices that are on the dolls. You twirled her, but I don't know if this is her stand because you could twirl her. Hmm. Yeah, I had one of these when I was little, but I think it. It twirled somehow. I don't remember how. You know how much I paid for the this box? Just this box. Um, thirty bucks. Six hundred dollars. Oh, okay. This was marked four hundred. Yep. Wait, what? Yep. Kind of hard to believe, huh? Yeah, I didn't know Barbies were still up. I mean, in, Th these are from the those are from the seventies. So why is that one four hundred and that one is three fifty? Condition of the box, I think. Like that. Right yeah, there. the box isn't quite as good on that one. That's Superstar oh, Ken. Superstar Ken. Man, look at his bling on his hand. Yeah. <laughs> this is like some oh. high end. This oh, is... look, it comes with bling for you, too. Yeah. Do they have dates on these things? Let's see. Can you believe 77. I... 77. Yeah, this one says 76. Can you believe I spent that kind of money on Barbie? No. <laughs> I did look... I didn't look all these up, but I looked up the Superstar, Barbie, and Ken. And once I saw that, I was like, all right, let's do Dusty, this. Dusty, I never heard of this one. Is Oh, that is, is that a Barbie? Special Dusty trade-in offer. I don't see a year on this one. Oh, wait, right there. Look, this was before. 76. Bar this was before barcode, so. Yeah. Dollar ninety nine. Yeah, these have the original price tags on them. Six ninety seven at Howard Brothers. Remember Howard Brothers? Oh yeah. <laughs> this one was from R. J. Wilson Company. We didn't have that here. Maybe that H. J. Maybe that was Wilson's. Hmm. No, maybe not. I've never this, heard of these. These aren't. These are lower end. Like that's the slick chick. This is. These are like worth fifteen twenty dollars. Brenda like Brush. That's kind of cute. Yeah, they're cool. She said the way she played with them, like she played with these when she was a kid, and she would hold them in their cases. She wouldn't, she didn't take them out of the cases. This one is called Tomboy. Yeah, playing baseball. Oh, the lady who they belong to mm -hmm. is there. Yeah. Oh, how did that feel? Fun. Gold medal, medal Barbie skier. There's two, oh, two. Be two. careful. Look how expensive and these Hawaiian are. Hawaiian Barbie. Can you believe how expensive these things are? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I'm not saying that these prices are exactly what, what I'll get. Right. But I'll get somewhere in the neighborhood. Kind of close, huh? Yeah. Skier Ken. He's a U.S. Olympic star, best in the world. What year was this? 74. Were the Olympics in here in 74? I don't, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Hmm. Look, they've even got like his number to go on his chest. Yeah. Hmm. Can you believe they have this stuff all new and packaged? Yeah, that's for all insane. that time. Animal lover. That one's Barbie. a little. That's a little cheaper one there. This one is newer. I think I remember when this. Came Look, out. it's got a barcode. Yeah, 1988. Ah, okay. Yeah, I remember when that came out. And another superstar. Yeah. Like, he's really posing. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these glasses. I know. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Aren't these cool? These are amazing, you huh? Leave your post on there. Ah, I'm gonna take it off eventually. But yeah, I paid. Um, I paid six hundred for all this this stuff right here. On the surface, it looks like a great deal, right? Yeah. If, if I the mean, sticky notes speak for the. If the sticky notes are correct, which I, I did. Value. Like I said, I checked this this i comp these four and i didn't comp anything else so once i saw that i'm like okay i can i can yeah. work with this so oh this goes with ballerina barbie yeah that'll that'll show yes. you whether it's right or not 
Now I'll try it with the doll. Lift leg. Yeah, see, you can make her spin. Oh. I think you just. Oh, take, you hold her crown. Yeah, take her out of the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had that one. Yeah. Okay, cool. There so you go. You had fun, huh? Yeah, it was amazing. I was there for like three hours. And uh, mm. this video has been going on for a while. I'm going to show Candace the rest of the stuff I got. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. There is a new podcast up. John and I recorded last night and published today. So if you all want to go check that out, the link's down below. I will see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.